In preparing to make the introduction to you for our, our salutatorian and our valedictorian, I have to mention briefly that this is no small accomplishment. Grace Prep is founded on the bedrock of love of God and developing an intelligent faith in Jesus and friendship with him that leads to lifelong fulfillment. As you have heard before, we believe in academic rigor. The reality of this rigor means that it is no small feat to achieve straight A's, which is a 4.0. Our curriculum requires critical thinking and a creativity that pushes one to the limits of their ability. The seniors that have excelled beyond all expected goals, and we are extremely proud of them. And first, I'd like to introduce and recognize the salutatorian. During her two years here at Grace Prep, she has received straight A's. She's been accepted into Schreier's Honors College. She's a diligent and conscientious student and a role model for others, as well as a lover of God. She will be studying biochemistry at the Schreier's Honors College at Penn State. And before I say her name, can I just acknowledge her parents, Greg and Beth Shear. <laughs> the salutatorian this year is Claire Shear. And now, having attended all four years of high school at Grace Prep, she has received straight A's of 4.0, and during this time, she has excelled in all academic endeavors. Even more to her credit, she is a humble and kind person. She's someone that I admire. And before I say her name, I would like to acknowledge her parents, Charles Tricou and Lori Tricou. <laughs> this year, I would like to introduce our valedictorian, Larissa Tricou. I don't have an entire speech prepared, but there are a couple things that I would really like to share and say. So, one of my favorite quotes is by William Shakespeare. He says, we know what we are, but not what we may be. I take this to mean that we have untapped potential within us, and we have a future that we can't see clearly right now. There are great things that we can do in the world. And I might be the only one who does this, but I feel that sometimes the power of what we can do in the world, the idea that we have potential, scares us. And we decide to do what other people do or follow the most trodden path so that we don't stand out too much and it's not as frightening. But for, for our class, I want to say, don't back away from the awesome power of you, yourself, exactly as God created you to be. Embrace your strengths, because they're what make you special, but appreciate your weaknesses, because they give you a chance to grow and a chance to mature. You're a masterpiece, not a mistake. God knit you together in your mother's womb, and he knew what he was doing. He didn't he didn't make mistakes. He gave you your, your interests and your passions for a reason. They're what's going to take you to new places and to meet new people and to help people. You have a purpose that nobody else can fulfill. Nobody else can be you. It's your weaknesses, your challenges, and your struggles that give you a story. Your story is unique to you. Just think about it for a second. In the entire history of the universe, and that's a really long time, nobody else has had your exact story. Nobody else has been you. You can do something that nobody else has done because you're you. So I know that wasn't five minutes, but I just want to say don't be afraid to be yourself. Listen to advice and walk with God the entire way, but don't be afraid to follow a new path. Just explore your life because it's there and it's a bright future for each and every one of us. We're an awesome class, I think, and we all have a really awesome future. And just 
be yourself and don't back away from who you are. So that's all I have to say.